Hello and welcome back to God Ed or my God Edians. I hope that you've had a good and fun and productive week. I have missed you and I'm so excited about today's lesson. So before we start, we know we have to light the candle. So let's do that. We light the candle for anybody. So we remind ourselves about the light of Christ. And then we light the next candle for anybody who has been affected by COVID-19. Great, let's get started. And with that, we start with People of the Belt. That same day, two of Jesus' followers were walking to the village of Emmaus, seven miles out of Jerusalem. As they walked along, they were talking about everything that had happened. Suddenly, Jesus himself came along and joined them and began walking beside them. But they didn't know who he was because God kept them from recognizing him. You seem to be in a deep discussion about something, he said. What are you concerned about? They stopped short, saddened, written across their face. Then one of them replied, you must be the only person in Jerusalem who hasn't heard about all the things that have happened these last few days. What things, Jesus asked. The things that happened to Jesus, the man of Lazarus. They said, he was a prophet who did wonderful miracles. He was a mighty teacher, highly regarded by both God and all the people. But our leading priests and other religious leaders arrested him and handed him over to be condemned to death, and they crucified him. We had thought he was the Messiah who had come to rescue Israel. That all, ha that all happened three days ago. Then some women from our group of his followers were at this tomb early this morning, and they came back with amazing report. They said his body was missing, and that they had seen angels who told him that the Lord, that Jesus is alive. Some of our men ran to see, and sure enough, Jesus' body was gone, just as the woman had said. Then Jesus said to them, You are such foolish people. You find it hard to believe all that the prophets wrote in the scriptures. Wasn't it clearly predicted by the prophets that the Messiah would have to suffer all these things before entering his time of glory? Then Jesus quoted passages from the writings of Moses and all the prophets explaining what the scriptures said about him. By the time they were getting nearer to Emmaus and the end of the journey, Jesus would have gone on. But they begged him to stay the night with him since it was getting late. So he went home with them. As they sat down to eat, he took a small loaf of bread, asked God's blessing on it, broke it, then gave it to them. Suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him. And at that moment he disappeared. They said to each other, didn't our hearts feel strangely warm as he talked with us on the road and explained the scriptures to us? And within the hour, they were on their way back to Jerusalem. So what did you think of that story? It was very similar to the story of last week where they didn't recognize Jesus either. But what I really loved about the story is that Jesus is with us along our journey. And sometimes it's not easy. And sometimes we don't understand why we are on this road anyway. And sometimes the road is hard and it's scary and it's sad. But Jesus is with us as we walk through this journey on the road. 
And when the disciples discover that Jesus is there, they feel warm and love and happiness. And then they want to go and spread that with everybody else. So even though at this time we might be bored and sad and we want to go and see our friends and our family, and some of us might be a little scared, we've got to remember that Jesus is with us as we feel these things. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a craft. What you're going to need is some paper, a pencil, watercolors, and wax crayons. If you don't have those things, I still want you to draw, you're going to trace out your foot. I still want you to trace out your foot and then you can color it in whichever way you like and you're going to see what we're going to do with the craft now. So with that, let's go and do our craft. So today we're going to uh, trace our feet and we're going to make the craft with our feet instead of our hands today. Like last week we used our hands, today we're using our feet. I've already traced my foot. Nobody needs to see my foot. I'm sure that uh, everybody would not be as scarred if they did. Right, so what I want you to do is once you've colored in, you've, you've traced out your foot, I want you to get some wax crayons. So they can be any regular wax crayons. It doesn't matter. Yours probably look a lot fancier than mine. And then I want you to take the color of the paper. So like for me, I have yellow. I'm going to take a yellow wax crayon, okay? And on that yellow wax crayon, uh, on the, uh, with that yellow wax crayon, I'm going to write, Jesus walks with me on my foot. Now, if you've got a red piece of paper, I want you to find a red wax crayon. If you've got a white piece of paper, I want you to use a white wax crayon. And if you don't have wax crayons and watercolors, that's okay as well. But you're going to write, Jesus, and if you can't write, please ask an adult to help you. Jesus walks with me. Okay, then you can use other wax crayons as well for this now. I'm going to decorate my foot. Now I was really happy to see how cool some of the other people's um, hands looked. Some of you sent them to me and it was really awesome to see what you had all done and how creative you had been and some of you had done a better job than I had done and they looked awesome. So I would really love to see what you have done for this one as well because this is a really fun craft. I love doing this stuff and I love decorating and I love coloring in but if I make this too long, Mole has to edit it and then he gets grumpy so I can't be too long on decorating. Okay, then with your watercolors, not any paint, you need to use watercolor paints and a paintbrush, get some water and you're going to, I like blue, you need to make it quite watery. It's important that it's quite watery and you're going to see what's going to happen. So we start with my toe. And then I'm going to go to purple because I love purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Blue is one of my favorite colors. What are your favorite colors? I'd love to know what your favorite colors are. And you've got to cover your entire foot in watercolors. And then you're going to see what's going to happen. Now you see, this is what's interesting, is that, ooh, shall we go to some pink? Ooh, look at that pink, isn't it great? Is, because we're using wax crayons and we're using um, watercolors, the wax repels the water. And so what comes up is what we've written underneath. So the more watery your colors are, Oh, look at how cool that is. The more it's going to pop up. Can you see the letters forming on yours? Can you see how it's coming up and it quietly says, Jesus walks with me?
Then when you're done, you're going to let this dry. It's important to let it dry because you don't want the paint to come off when you cut it out. So hopefully yours has worked better than mine has and you can see the writing popping up. Um, what you're going to do now is once it's colored, uh, you've painted it and it's dry-ish enough, you're going to take a pair of scissors and you are going to cut out your foot. Ah, my paper was still a little bit wet on the side, but that's okay. Because Jesus will still walk with me even if my foot is not perfect. That's, you see how that happened? That's why your foot needs to be dry before you can cut it out. And there you have it. That is today's craft. Please do send me your pictures of what you've done. It really does bring me great joy to see what you've created. It makes me feel like I'm with you as you've done it. So I hope that you enjoyed that. And yeah, let us pray. God of loving kindness, help us to recognize when Jesus is with us when we are walking on our journey, especially if we are sad or scared. Help us to know that your love is always with us. We pray this in your name. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. And may the Lord give you his peace. Amen.